Many PHP developers have PHP Storm installed on their own machine, but prefer to run and debug their applications on other machines, for example using Vagrant. We can configure a remote PHP interpreter in PHP Storm and run our application and PHP-based tools on a production-like environment, the real production server or a virtualized one. For example, using Vagrant, we could install only PHP Storm on our development machine and run, debug and unit test our application on the Vagrant machine. Let's see how this works. In order to work with a remote PHP interpreter, we have to configure one. From the project settings, we can pick the PHP interpreter we want to use. From here, we can also add a remote one. Let's do that. Remote PHP interpreters are executed over SSH. We can choose to configure the connection manually and provide the hostname, username, password or an SSL key pair. When using Vagrant support in PHP Storm, we can tick the Vagrant option to automatically configure the connection. In most cases, PHP Storm also figures out the path to the PHP interpreter on the Vagrant machine. Whenever we have a deployment server configured, we can reuse the connection details as well. Simply pick the configuration and provide the necessary details. Now since I have a Vagrant machine running here, let's stick with Vagrant. Do make sure the remote PHP interpreter is the default for our current project. Now let's create a run configuration. Let's give it a name and make it run our index.php file. We don't have to configure the PHP interpreter here. The run configuration looks just the same as with a local interpreter. Let's save it and run it. A new tool window opens in which we can clearly see PHP Storm connected to the remote host and run our PHP script there. It doesn't stop with just running code on a remote host. We can also run unit tests. In order to do that, we have to configure PHP unit to run on the remote server. We can do this from the project settings. Let's add new PHP unit settings and configure it by remote interpreter. We will have to specify the interpreter we want to use and then configure how PHP unit should be loaded. If the remote host has PHP unit installed using pair or is somehow in the include path, we can pick that option. I've installed PHP unit using Composer and I'll configure PHP unit to use the Composer autoloader so it can run. Do note that I'm using the path on the remote host here, not the local path on my machine because otherwise the remote host will not be able to find it. Once configured, we can create a PHP unit run configuration. Let's give it a name and specify which tests we want to run. I'll use the tests directory in my project. Now let's run them. Again, we can see from the log that PHP Storm ran our tests on the remote host. One last thing I want to mention here is that a PHP interpreter is a project setting in PHP Storm. It will be used for all actions that require the PHP executable, for example for running Composer. Now since the remote PHP interpreter typically has no access to our local project's file system, this will fail by default. In order to use Composer, we'll have to configure it to use a local PHP interpreter instead. We can do this from the settings and pick the correct one. Thank you for watching this screencast and see you next time.